The wheels are squeaking, but that very recognizable sound is not coming from the subway tracks. This is the New York, New Jersey rail yard in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. The old NYC transit cars need a ride of their own to their next stop. One by one, they have been loaded onto regular in-service freight train cars. This facility is operated by the Port Authority. The freight train is a boat. This is an anomaly inside the rail systems of the United States. We're also unique even in that universe because we're a floating railroad. They started moving the old things last year. It is the end of the line for these classics, which had been on the subway tracks for more than half a century. There goes the J train. They don't make them like that anymore. These models were crowd favorites for decades, known for that front window. Riders could stand and look out. These were considered pretty luxurious in 1964 when they went into service. Fluorescent lighting, fiberglass seats, better braking, good ventilation. Now they're headed to the scrap heap to be recycled. The great thing about the R32s is that for a lot of people, it was their first subway car. The New York Transit Museum in downtown Brooklyn showcases the stories of the system, including some even older cars called Redbirds, which were stripped and dropped in the ocean to create reefs. That's not the plan anymore because of the type of metal. The R32s that were reefed did not have the same fate and they pretty much collapsed after a couple of years. This rail facility is an important connection between Brooklyn and New Jersey. It's the only major one that's carrying freight across the waterway instead of using roads, tunnels and bridges. It's critical to get them off trucks and onto something like this uh, to make it more environmentally sound. It's a half hour ride across the harbor. The back and forth will continue. Another freight train will take the old ones to their next last stop at a recycling plant in Ohio. In Jersey City, Greg Mock, PIX11 News.